Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of how to build your first iPhone app. It's been a while since my last video, approximately 20 days, so I really apologize for that. It's kind of been crazy at work. And the good news, however, is that at the end of this week, I will be taking some time off from work. And I plan on frequently updating and creating more videos for you guys to enjoy. I've really loved the feedback that I've gotten from you guys, the comments and uh, the encouragement and the support. That stuff really helps keep me going because I know there's people watching and people enjoying these videos. And so that helps keep me motivated to keep creating these for you. So please participate comment, like my videos, and show me some support. Uh, it really helps. Okay, so without further ado, what is this episode about? So th in this episode, we're going to actually go back to that Xcode project we created in tutorial video one. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back to video one, and you can see how we've created this in Xcode. So we're gonna go back to that Xcode project and we're going to take a look at the files that Xcode created for us. And I'm going to show you what those files represent. Kind of tying back to the previous lesson on Model View Controller. So you guys can get an idea of how the app navigation architecture is going to work. Okay, so let's open up that project. And what I want to note for you guys is on this left hand side right here under this iPhone app tutorial, I want you guys to notice what files are here. So we've got something called the app delegate. We've also got view controller, H and M, and I'll explain what those mean. Uh, it, probably in the next video, it's gonna become really important uh, to start learning what that is. But for now, know that there's an app delegate, and there's a view controller, and then there's another view controller.zip file. And now let me, bring up my PowerPoint slide so I can illustrate to you guys visually what those files represent. Okay, so to draw it visually, I think it's much easier to understand kind of in this format. Uh, and so on the left-hand side here, I've got your uh, an iPhone app. And this could be any application and this would still hold true, this diagram. and Think of the app delegate as kind of the entryway to your application. In the app delegate, your app gets set up. There's like app launching methods and you know all sorts of plumbing that's going on and, and getting set up. And what happens is at the end of that, it sets your first view, which becomes visible to the user. And so the app delegate references something called the view controller. And this is something that we talked about in the last video in the MVC, your view controller would be uh, the C part of that, right? And if you recall that diagram, the C communicates with the V, which is the view, and that's represented by the zip file that we saw in the Xcode project. And in the Xcode project, we did not have a model. You didn't see anything like that because when you create your Xcode project, it wouldn't know what your data would be modeled like or anything like that. So it doesn't create that for you, but it does create your app delegate view controller and view controller .zip file. So let me go back to the slide for the last video. Uh, just to refresh your memory, we have model view controller. So you can see that the model represents your data and your business rules for your data. And the controller is responsible for taking that data and communicating with the view. So if we go back to this slide, you can see how that MVC design pattern represents itself into these files in your Xcode uh, project structure. So you see the green, orange, and purple. I've tried to match it up with this. Now this represents a particular view in your application. So say it's your home view. Now, many applications, most applications actually have more than one view, right? You can navigate from screen to screen, uh, performing whatever it is that the app does. So if this view controller 
this view controller.zib and this model represents one view, then how do we kind of go from view to view? And this in this next slide, I've drawn a box around those three files, kind of that represents a view. So in the previous slide, the app delegate points to a view controller and the view controller handles the communication between a certain model and a certain view and that represents a screen. So if you had multiple screens, basically it would look like something like this where your app delegate could point to any one of these view controllers uh, and it would represent a different screen in a very kind of rudimentary sense. So hopefully that puts into perspective what some of those files in Xcode mean. So we'll always have one app delegate, but we will create multiple view controllers. We'll create multiple models enough to represent our data. We'll create multiple views or zip files. And together that would create our app. So in this video, I wanted to tie what we learned in the last video about MVC into the actual Xcode project. And I hope that I've done that properly so that you guys understand you know how the model view controller pattern is represented in the iOS project now in the next video we're going to talk about well we're gonna actually we'll, we'll probably spend most of our time in Xcode starting to create the files and write the code that we need to finish our demo app and like I said please can you continue to comment and like and subscribe if you haven't because I'm going to be updating these videos much more frequently um, probably starting Friday when I get off work oh and I don't know if you guys noticed but I have a new logo so I actually spent the weekend revamping my site if you go to codewithchris.com you'll actually see it my new layout and I created a new logo for it so let me know what you think okay until the next video see you guys later bye